In this peaceful spot by the River Brent in West London, St Mary's Perivale has stood for nearly 900 years. Surrounded by its peaceful churchyard, it has survived storms, wars, famines, plagues, and even developers. Acquired in 1976 by a charity set up for the purpose, it has now become one of the most important classical music venues in Britain. We're too small for orchestras, but our size and acoustics give us a perfect venue for chamber music and instrumental recitals. During the recent pandemic, we were not allowed to have a live audience, but we have not only survived, but actually thrived by live streaming our concerts. Now, we are thrilled to be able to readmit an audience, but the live streams continue as an essential part of our offering. So, wherever you are, enjoy this concert and please consider donating via our website. Thank you very much indeed. Good afternoon and welcome to St Mary's Perivale on a glorious afternoon here. Hope it's nice wherever you're watching from. 
Uh, we have a nice cello and piano recital for you this afternoon by Ellen Baumring Gledhill on cello and Sherry Lunn on piano. Sherry's played here before, gave a wonderful recital last year, a solo recital. Ellen hasn't, so it's a double pleasure to have her. You can read all about them on our website. There's short bios there, and you can see their programme on the YouTube channel and the website. Basically, it's a piece by... Tessarini uh, um, um, uh, to start off with, then the Beethoven Magic Flute Variations, then the Cesar Frank Sonata, which you can either hear on the cello or the violin. It, Frank did uh, allow its use on the cello. I've heard it on the flute and the viola, not the double bass yet, but most things. But the Frank Sonata is such a wonderful piece. It's always a pleasure. And then there's a little piece at the end, Herbert Putty Vals, and all the information is on the website. So without more ado, I'm going to ask the audience to put their hands together to give a big warm welcome. Thank you very much. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Um, it's a real delight to be here. Sherry and I are really delighted to be able to come and play to this afternoon. Um, I was remembering last time I was here, I think, and I was part of the Ealing Music Festival many years ago when I was about 11 years old in the prize winners concert. It was the last time I played here, so a few years later, it's, it's a real pleasure to be back. We're starting today's programme with uh, the Adagio and Presto from uh, a late Baroque uh, cello sonata by Tessa, Tessarini, um, arranged by Arnold Trow. Arnold Trow had a bit of a habit for writing pieces and then attributing them to Baroque composers. And it, so I'm not entirely sure whether what we're hearing today is all of Tessarini's writing or some of it is Arnold Trow's. He certainly did this with the Franca Sonata, with the first movement in which he actually wrote it and then said that Franca wrote it. A little bit what, uh, like what Chrysler did with the um, with Pugnani's works. Well then, David, let's put it over here. Switch it. Thank
The next piece in our program is Beethoven's Seven Variations for Cello and Piano um, from Mozart's opera, The Magic Flute. Um, back in Beethoven's day, we didn't have recordings and uh, you know, TV and everything, so people would often go to the operas and they'd cut, leave humming to the tunes from the opera and the songs. Um, so Beethoven initially kind of wrote these variations to be performed in the home and then later kind of in the concert halls. Um, this particular uh, aria from the opera is uh, a love duet between Princess Pamina and the bird catcher Papageno. Um, whilst I was researching this, I actually discovered that the fourth variation, which is in a minor key, was initially in where the third variation was. But Beethoven later moved this because he felt that um, the program would be more, the sorry, the piece would be more balanced with the minor variation in the middle.
There's a bit of a theme going on in today's recital because the last, the Beethoven that we just heard was a love duet and this next piece, the Franck, um, was given as a gift to the violinist and composer Isai on his wedding day and he was given it in the morning and he quickly learnt it um, before, and before his wedding and performed it with a wedding guest on the same day. Um, it's a much loved piece, so I really hope you'll enjoy playing it, hearing it as much as Sherry and I enjoy playing it. Um, we're finishing today's programme with a very short piece by Victor Herbert. Uh, Victor Herbert was an American composer with English and Irish uh, heritage. Um, he was he was most known for writing operettas, but he wrote nine cello works. Um, he was colleagues with Dvorak at the Conservatory for Music in New York. And um, Vorjak at this point didn't really think of the cello as a soloistic instrument. It was much more of an orchestral instrument in his eyes. And uh, Dvorak went to hear Herbert's cello concerto being performed. And this must have been really inspired him because we now have the infamous Vorjak cello concerto. I'm not playing either of those pieces today, but we do have um, Petite Valse, which was written for Pablo Casals and dedicated to him. And I really wanted to include something by Herbert today because it's 100 years since he died this year.
What a lovely afternoon's music. Gorgeous. Uh, the Cesar Frank never fails to move one. It's such a wonderful piece. And they played it quite brilliantly. And the Beethoven variations were superb. It's a gorgeous piece. I enjoyed the Baroque piece. And that lovely encore at the end was rather amazing, wonderful. So terrific performance by Ellen and Sherry. Well done. Thank you very much uh, to them for coming along. Huge thanks to George Auckland and Andrew Wogcote upstairs doing the recording and Sherry White at the back on the box office. It's quite strange having Sherry White and Sherry Lunn with two Sherrys in the, the audience today. Uh, it's been a great afternoon. On Sunday, we have a wonderful violin and piano recital by Yelena Horvat and Kumi Matsuo, uh, strongly recommended, and it'll be very good. And so it goes on. Uh, if you'd like to donate, you know how you can go on our PayPal facility and keep the show on the road. Uh, and huge thanks to the audience here for coming along so loyally to three concerts a week. We can't do it without you, and we can't do it without our people watching from afar. Uh, so to everyone, thank you very much for keeping St. Mary's Perivale on the map and keeping us all sane in this troubled world. Thank you very much. And from West London, a very good afternoon to you. Thank you. <laughs>